on the stage. Say you had a deal, a real spending cuts deal, 10 to 1, as, as Byron said, spending cuts to tax increases. Speaker, you're already shaking your head. But who on this stage would walk away from that deal? When you raise your hand, if you feel so strongly about not raising taxes, you'd walk away on the 10 to 1 deal. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, why are you shaking your head? I, th I think this is that not an important Look, question. I think this super committee is about as dumb an idea as Washington has come up with in my life. I mean, if, if you will, for a second, but I, mean, I used to run the House Representatives. I have some general notion of these things. The idea that 523 senators and congressmen are going to sit around for four months while 12 brilliant people, mostly picked for political reasons, are going to sit in some room and brilliantly come up with a trillion dollars or force us to choose between gutting our military and accepting a tax increase is irrational. This, this, they're going to walk in just before Thanksgiving and say, all right, we can shoot you in the head or cut off your right leg. Which do you prefer? <laughs> Scrap the committee right now, recognize it's a dumb idea, go back to regular legislative business, assign every subcommittee the task of finding savings, do it out in the open through regular legislative order, and get rid of this secret, phony business. Okay.